previously on Survivor. Team I Want to Stay enters their first individual immunity challenge, a test of endurance that looked like Aunt Claudia would win victoriously. With her sights set on the individual immunity idol, Claudia's overconfidence became her demise as she failed to win immunity. At Tribal Council, her fate was sealed by those closest to her, ending her journey. Only 15 survivors are left. Who will survive tonight? <laughs> to some and a land rich in history. For these 15 survivors, it will be a home of dense jungle where they will endure limited sleep, sweltering heat, and dangerous wildlife. We'll have the youngest survivor in survivor history, right? That's got to count for something. They said survivor was tough, but I had no idea it would be this tough. This is the hardest thing I've ever done. In today's challenge, individuals will climb to the top of an ancient Mayan temple, one of the seven wonders of the world. The first person to climb to the top and descend will win individual immunity. Gwen took an early lead, followed closely by Judd. He's always helping Christina. We just got to the top of the temple. Sweating bullets up here. Judd's already been up on his way down. See, he's helping Christina down there. Alliance? Quite possibly. Alicia and Andrea worked quickly and thought they might win the immunity idol. But their hopes were soon dashed when they realized that Gwen had already won the challenge. Don't hurry, girls. Take your time. All right. Good job. I'm voting Gwen for sure. She's got to go. She's winning all the award challenges. She's winning the immunity challenges. She's too strong of a competitor. I'm voting her for sure. Oh, I'm definitely voting for Gwen. Gwen. Probably Gwen. Definitely Gwen. Uh, heading with my mom. Yeah. Rob and I have been talking, and I think we're going to blindside Jerry. <laughs> I don't know what he's going to think, but he won't ever see it coming. I'm not too worried about it. Dad's got it all figured out for me. He'll take care of it. Well, I've thought ahead, just in case this whole McGregor Alliance thing doesn't work out. Let's just say Jerry won't be too pleased. I'm really not worried about the vote tonight, because Gwen and I have talked about it. We're going to plan on taking it to the very end. I don't really want to like point fingers to anybody. I mean, yeah, of course there's a, a person or two, you know, at least one that I, I think probably should go home. Uh, um, I am, but I'm not gonna like try to influence anybody's vote, uh, really. You know, I can't, I can't help anyone make up their mind. I mean, what can I do? There's nothing I can do that's gonna help sway votes. So I'm just gonna stay quiet, not do anything. Just be myself, fly under the radar. <laughs>
That's my strategy. The next day was the reward challenge. Teams of two would sit on tricycles while being peddled through the jungle by local inhabitants. We gotta pass these guys. We gotta go fast. It was a close race, but in the final leg, Ruth and Andrea pulled into the lead, securing them the victory and winning them the reward challenge. Their reward was a visit to a real, authentic Mayan village, tucked away far from civilization. Thank you.